What's going on guys? It's Alexa back with another video and today I'm here with my car club. As you can see, we got a lot going on right now, but the purpose of today's meetup is actually we're going to be doing a paint correction workshop. We're going to try to get some of the swirls out of our paint so we know how to clay bar, how to use wax properly and everything like that. So we're going to be doing that. Right now, we're just waiting on a few more members to get here. And in the meantime, someone's installing a quarter. And look at you trying to sneak in. <laughs> but yeah, we out here. So we'll be heading in soon. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Paint correction class. For people like Jason, you know, already know it, and some of you might know, it's just gonna be a refresher course, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when it comes to paint on the car, you got three different layers, three or four. You got bare metal. Mm -hmm. You got the primer. You got the paint, and you got the clear coat. Mm -hmm. And when you see scratches and swirls and everything in the paint, that's scratches in the clear coat. So it's not necessarily the paint. Gotcha. Now, if you see stuff where it's chipping or it's highly faded away, then your clear coat is severely damaged and you gotta do some extra tricks. But for this particular thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna make it so that we all have a good understanding and how to get our own shine. But if you had the extra money, once you got that shine, you get the ceramic coating from a man here, and it'd be a whole nother ball game. <laughs> but for this, <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid. Yeah, y'all see? She got a lot of scratches from left to right. Damn, Alexa. Hey, look. Hey, don't talk. Like. Look. Don't talk. Hey, look. Brush at the car wash. Brush at the car wash. Yeah. Exactly. Get out of exactly. here. Get look. <laughs> Y'all have to call me out. People don't realize when you use that brush at the car wash, people use that same brush to wash their wheels, yeah. and then they put that brush on their car so that abrasive from the brake dust is scratching into your clear coat and your paint. So that's where those scratches come from. So. You can correct this a couple of ways, but we will go for the more common way. Compound, polish, sealant, wax. I've missed one important step, and that's the uh, clay bar. So you wash the car, you get all the dirt off. The clay bar takes off any contaminants or oxidation in the paint. So it gets like everything off and makes the paint nice and smooth and ready to the compound and everything else that you're going to do to it. We're going to, the car's already been cleaned, so we're going to have to skip the uh, clay bar because somebody didn't feel like they was going to do I, that I did not know that it was going to be my car. Okay. So we're yeah. going to do the compound first and see how much work we actually need to do to it. When you put the compound in, you can do it by hand or you can do it with the machine. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try it by hand first and see how it works out. And then we're going to try it with the orbital. Uh, DA and see how it works. And by over, I mean it goes left to right, up and down as it goes around. So it's like a oh, dual okay. action. Yeah. I bought the single action one, which is mine, in that bag, but it's, it takes a lot of work to do it and you can mess up your paint. That makes it virtually impossible to mess up your paint because it, bag it being dual action, it disperses the heat. With mine going one red one section, it creates a lot of heat. <laughs> That's just one pass. But it's my it's last one. It's one pass. <laughs> oh, shit. But just wait on the cheat on this. You too. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's a whole different thing. You didn't see a little light. Yeah, yeah. 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 what it was. And the clear coat. Yeah, you could touch it until it was better than what it was. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. See that? I'm going to try the DA and see if I can get some of that other stuff out. Okay. We in class, y'all. <laughs> uh, uh, coffee and candy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no idea what he was at. He didn't even know. He seen all them cars out there and be like that. It fills in the scratches of the clear coat. It builds it up. 
So it fills it in. So when you go back in with the polish, of course, it makes it all yeah. nice and smooth. And you can feel the difference with that. <laughs> the most commonly used one is the Maguire. Maguire. It works very well. Like a lot of detailers use it. You can get Maguire, Adams, and it really don't matter as long as it works. Of course, some work better than others, but Maguire's work. Maguire's mother. Compound, the and then polish. And then polish. Okay. And then Wash, compound, texture. polish. Clay bar. Well, clay bar. Okay. We just don't have the clay bar today, so. That's super expensive. That's a lot of money. But when I do it, look at mine. Of course, I'm going to put a store of dollars and cake down for somebody else. It was all out. Damn. That's something like my boy too. Hey man, the muscles work, boy. Like, so <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to hit my next thing because my muscles ain't like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a big ass thing. I'm <laughs> yeah, All right, y'all. So y'all saw the preliminary. We pre-clean, we compound, and then we polish, wipe with a microfiber cloth in between all those steps. So what we're gonna do is do the same thing to the whole car. But yeah, so let's get started. type of thing you don't have to rub it in you just get it on there and let it sit into the paint so guys that was compound polish and wax we didn't even do the clay bar so you guys can see yeah amazing All right, guys well as you guys can see i'm very happy with these results as i said earlier we um we only did the polish we did the compound and we did the wax so compound came first we went over the whole car we even used the uh, da applicator so that helped save our arms a little bit 
Um, the polish went on right after that. And then the wax, we covered the whole car, let it sit for a couple minutes, and then we wiped it off with a microfiber towel. And that gave it just a little bit of extra shine. But yeah, guys, this looks great. So um, as always, if there was anything that um, I could have done differently, just let me know. And um, this is just the way that we are shown. This is the way my president uh, of the car club taught me. And we're doing more cars in the garage as we speak. So mine just happened to be the first, but at least I know how to do this in the future. So I think it looks great. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But as always, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I do post twice a week, so there's always something cool for you to watch. So thank you guys again, and I will see you all next time. Take care.